All right, here we're trying to solve um, the radical equation for x. Um, so there's a square root on the right side. To get rid of it, uh, we need to square both sides. So take the left side, x plus 2 squared, and then the square root of 9x minus 2 squared. What happens is the square and the square root cancel each other out. But on the left, we have x plus 2 squared, which is x plus 2 times x plus 2. So it's good to know how to square a binomial like this without having to folio it out every time. And the way to do that is um, you square the first term in the binomial and you get x squared. And then you multiply the two terms together and you get 2x and then you double that to get 4x. And then you square the last term and get 4. And that'll work every time. Um, you can see if you foiled it out that you'd get the same thing. Since we have a quadratic, we want to add the 2 over and subtract the 9x from both sides so that we have one side equal to 0. So we get x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. We should be able to factor this. Um, to x minus 2 and x minus 3 appears to be the right factors because negative 2 times negative 3 is 6 and if you multiply um, the inside and the outside terms you get negative 5x. So that would give us the solutions of x equals 2 and x equals 3 if we set each one to 0 and solve. However, you, with radical equations you have to check all right, so we're going to check x equals 2. And to do that, we plug it back into the original. So we get 2 plus 2 is equal to, and I'm going to put a little question mark there because we don't know, the square root of 9 times 2 minus 2. On the left, we get 4. And on the right, we get 18 minus 2, which would be the square root of 16. And yes, the square root of 16 is 4, so that one works. Let's check x equals 3 as well. So it would be 3 plus 2 is equal to the square root of 9 times 3 minus 2. Again, we don't know if it's equal, we're checking. So that's 5 is equal to the square root of, well, 9 times 3 is 27, minus 2 is 25, and 5 does equal the square root of 25. So both of them are good x equals 2 and x equals 3 are both the solutions.